lady. Are we gonna have the people? Get up here. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> hey guys! Hi. Today's Mexican Fiesta Day. Mexican Fiesta Day. We got some music going. It's it's really. Cool. <laughs> Not to be so hot, 
Oh, they also yell at me because I call it guacamole. And they say it's guacamole. So I learned something new. So if you don't want it super hot, is you take the seeds out. The seeds make it really hot. So if you take the seeds out, it's not that hot. Your husband would like it, but I don't like it that hot. Jackie, do you yeah, like it? Yeah, and be careful because like it hot? Okay. I gave myself like a third degree burn with these seeds. They burn. So guys, I have a trick to this mojito. I'm gonna use the Vitality Orange to kind of sweeten it up. Oh my, see, he likes it spicy. I know you do. Maybe I'll give Agnes some to give you. Okay, keep chopping. I'm talking to your husband. Yeah, keep chopping. Uh, <laughs> yes. He doesn't know she's here. No, I'm kidding. No, but this Vitality Oil is awesome. We cook with our oils all the time. And uh, well, today we're going to be using Lime Vitality for our these dishes and then Orange Vitality for a drink. So um, you, this is really cool because oh, it I gives have you an orange. When you're cutting on onions okay. and you get like teary eyed, Yes. Just close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> or if you prefer cutting with your eyes open. Yes. You open a bottle of thieves yes. and place it nearby. Yes, and you know what? I've never tried it. And it so keeps smart. you from getting teary eyed. I'm excited to try it, except I don't know where my thieves is. It's okay. Okay, so Next, um, I think in case anyone didn't notice I missed a step, but on purpose. So we like vodka in our mojito instead of rum. I'm gonna grab the vodka, and I'm just gonna do one shot each. And if you do wanna go without the vodka for a kid-friendly drink, so every so step before piece. this one, yeah? Does this really work? Yeah, I think so. Usually I use my pamper chef uh, chopper to chop my onions, but because we're still like, we just moved recently and we're still not really organized, and I don't know where it's at. So, but that's a good way to chop it too. So the recipe for the pico de gallo called for canned canned uh, tomatoes, but I always like fresh. I think fresh is the best than using canned. Oh, is it is done? Smelling so good, it's almost mine done. <laughs> She's done, and we're not. What's next? Okay, so next you want to do. So we did a little bit of onion, like a quarter of this big giant onion. And then next we're gonna put in uh, the jalapeno. We'll probably take out the seeds so it's not super hot. <laughs> or you like it hot? Just so, it's just not gonna hurt. It's not yeah. gonna hurt. So just a little, like take some of the seeds out, maybe? There. Okay, and then uh, chop it up. So we're gonna do like half a jalapeno so it's not too hot, right? I think. And then after that, we're gonna do, um, uh, we're gonna mix it up. And then cut up your tomato a little more. More, you think? More? Is that more? It's gonna go in there. Oh, yep, you're right. right? We're, doing We're gonna put in a food processor. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to put a switch back. Yeah, maybe. Good idea. Okay. So now Agnes is doing the guacamole. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Cheers. 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 <laughs> Every morning we should go. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm oh, no, just kidding. Oh my god, oh, it's yummy. You can't even taste that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a good thing? Yeah. yeah. Or a bad thing? Mike likes our music. Thanks, Mike. He should have came over. Oh, he would have been our taster. Mm. Next oh, time you yeah. gotta come over. There's not enough here. Your favorite job is gonna be. <laughs> you can come over after when everything's already cooked. This is gonna be a while. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm putting the tomatoes for the pico de gallo into a food processor. That's kind of what I'm doing here. Just to chop it a little bit. You don't want it runny unless you like the restaurant style. Um, what you want more chunky? Russian style? Restaurant style. Oh, restaurant style. Yeah, that one's like a little bit more liquidy, little baby chunks. That's what I like personally because I don't like to see the onion in mine. Um, but that one you can just chop it up lightly so it's nice and chunky and it's like nice and fresh. It's so good. Uh oh, we're taking a dance break. Uh, I just put a little salt. I like to use the Himalayan salt, the pink salt. I actually got this one at Ross. I thought it was cool. Yeah. So the Himalayan, yeah. That's the only salt I use in my house. And you know what? This stays working because my eyes are not watery. 
it's so weird. That is so weird. Okay, so now mix it up. And then what we're gonna do? The lime. Uh, the lime. So we're gonna use lime with the vitality. We're gonna do. We're gonna go in with yours. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna do about. Depends how limey you like it. I do about three drops. It is very concentrated. Our oils are very concentrated. Let me turn this down because I don't know if you can hear us. Can you guys hear us good? Blow some hearts if you can hear us. <laughs> um. Because the music was kind of loud. Okay, so we got it mixed up, and then next you want to do your soft um, ingredients, which is the tomatoes. And the tomatoes are in my fridge. <laughs> and we're just gonna do one tomato in there. This one tomato, just chop it up in little pieces. Oh, and then this, hello, and cilantro. So you do about a handful of cilantro. I love cilantro. I add cilantro into all my recipes because it tastes uh, fabulous. So we're gonna do cilantro. Okay, so this is here. So um, so pico de gallo, we got, you got the recipe, Jackie? Yes, it's gonna be a half a bunch of cilantro, but right now we're gonna put everything in there so when it chops up, it chops up evenly. We're gonna put oh, so in there. put this on first? Yes, okay. put everything in there and then chop it. Okay, so we're gonna do one bunch of the cilantro. And she says she's Mexican. not Mexican, she's Puerto Rican. I'm Mexican. Mexican. All right. You're Mexican? Okay. So, yes, Mexican Puerto Rican. Really? Yeah. It's what a thing. Is? It's a thing. You're Polish, but you think you're Latin. But I'm from. from. <laughs> We think that we were born Latin. We, I was La I was Spanish in my past life. Yes, we do love Latin because music. I love Spanish Latin music and I love some garlic Spanish food. So we're gonna do two cloves of garlic. It's yes. Should I chop that up or just put on? Everything's chopper? going in there. Yeah, okay, first. so we got about uh, five tomatoes. We got a handful of cilantro. We got two, two cloves of garlic. Oh my God! So now you good. can do. I'm getting all kinds you of can smells. Do I know, it's good. So good. I know. I feel like we're Mexico. Did you want to cut that up or do you want to? Maybe just well, make it small. Yeah, make it a little right? smaller. Right, like this? Um, you cut off stem first. Should we do that? Okay. Like... Cut in fourths. There's a hair. You should be doing this. I know. You know what you're doing. And we're just kind of. She's so ready. everyone's got to learn. <laughs> we're learning. This is all about learning together. Okay, okay I'll leave you on little seats. Yes. Okay. Oh, so just have? Yes. No, both. But both? not like spicy food. Maybe I wasn't Latin in my test. You were Spanish. I, she just likes oh, the music. Do Spanish people I, like spicy food? Not a lot no. of people. It depends. Because Spanish where... food is more bland, no? Like, when you go to like... Oh, I don't know. I don't food. know, actually. But there's, I mean, oh, I know a lot of Puerto Ricans don't like it too spicy. They like yeah, a lot of flavor, Rican. but not too much. Dorothy, Rican. your favorite. <laughs> she doesn't want what for lunch. <laughs> We're making pico de gallo, guacamole, and mojitos. Guac guacamole. Guac mm, I don't know why <laughs> How do you say that? Guac guac guacamole. Guac guac is GK okay. in Polish? Right. Is that a Polish? Oh. Cheers. 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 You want to? I don't know. I don't think Polish people eat avocados. Mm. I do. Do Polish? All right. You okay. Want your have a lime. Have lime, lime juice. So you can. Oh, there's lime juice. Yeah. A lime okay. juice, and then at the end, if we want to, we can always add an extra lime from our vitality. Our vitality lime, it comes from the rind of the fruit, not from the juices. Right? Oh, yes. 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 Cool. She told me that. Okay. So we do half a? Half a? Yes. Half a? Half of a lime. Half a lime. Okay. Go right ahead. Oh my god, you guys, I wish you could smell this. It's so good. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if you want to chop up your onion a little bit. Oh, the onion. Before. Okay. Maybe the white onion, forest. right? Yeah. Now okay. we want white onion. We're making it interesting. <gasps> Whoa! Sorry. And these knives from Costco are so sharp. <laughs> They're cozy knot thing knives. And I'm sorry. Are you okay? Do you have lavender? Do you have any lavender in this house? Or geranium to step? I mean, to prune for healthy skin. Kind of important. Go on. Okay, onion next. All right, and then um, salt, a little bit of salt like and pepper. Much? Just a just a pinch. Pinch salt? of salt oh. and pepper. Pepper? Oh, yeah, you know what? We'll do the cool. We can do pepper vitality. Oh, oh. okay. Right? Do you want to do that after? Or do you want to do it now? 
Look, I'm pepper vitality, yeah. 